from you. How's everybody? Everybody good? Hey, hey, Bart. What's up, Bart? How you doing? I'm good. I'm, I'm, I brought my secretary with me. I hope you all don't mind. Secretary? Yes, 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 indeed. Thank you. Do you have everything you need? I think I'm good. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 Well, it is so good to have all of our babies together under one yes, roof again. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's so good to see all of you. This is a special occasion. Well, 40 years. That's going to be kind of hard to beat. <laughs> well, I know your daddy's extremely hungry after his hard working afternoon. So, uh, shall we say grace? Yes. Yes. Good, Mom. Good, Mom. Good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here we go. What is your problem? Excuse me? Excuse you? What's going on? You didn't hear me the first time? I said, what is your problem, sweetie? All I said is let us say grace and you rolled your eyes in the back of your head. No, nothing, just nothing at all. You have a problem with us saying no. grace? Go ahead. The entire dinner table is supposed to say grace together. Right. Amen. Amen. And who makes that call? No, like for real. Like who makes that call? Who says I'm supposed to? God say is real, honey. And he has been really good to this entire family. And I would think that you'd want to show a little more gratitude to him. And how do you know? How do I know what? How do you know? Can you please just drop it? Stop causing issues. I don't even recall talking to you, Holina. Hey. Well, the only one I see is the one that came dressed like one. Drama Mina. Okay. You know what? What? No, that's enough. It's ridiculous. No, William, ask your question, Willie Mae. How do you know that God is real? Because you're here. Well, uh, food's getting cold, so let's, let's dig in. Oh, yeah, because this is all possible because of him, right? You know, because the whole blessed I am, the whole he is everything, the creator. Yeah, all that good no, stuff. No, because right. you're here. The day I had you was the best and the worst day of my life. Helen. It's fine, William. It's fine. I had gone in for my last physical right before you were born, and I was given some grave news. They told me that you were breach, but worse yet, that the umbilical cord appeared to be close to wrapping around your neck. They would have to do a C-section, but they didn't know if that was going to be okay because of my complications of having blood clots. They gave us a 60% chance that either one of us could pass during the delivery. The doctors were worried. Your father was terrified. I was terrified. It appeared that there was nothing else that could be done, and the only thing that I had left was my faith. I began to pray, and I can't explain it, but a peace just came all over me. Just as we were getting ready to leave, I stood up and my blood pressure dropped, and I fainted. We were rushed to the emergency room. All I know is that when I woke up, I was laying in a regular room with baby beside me and your father so you see when you've lost everything else when all hope seems to have faded the only thing that I had left was my faith mm -hmm. it was out of our hands and it was in God's hands mm -hmm. all right everybody mm -hmm. Lexi? You never told me this story. Well, better late than never, I guess. You should have told me. It was my body. And I was your baby. Why 
stupid I'm going to tell you such a horrible, dramatic thing like that for. But you know what? Things had gone south. I told them if they had to make a choice, that they should choose you. Helen! That they should save you. Helen! What is your problem? Dad, please. You know what, Helen? You're right. You are exactly right. You know what? I was there that day. You know what I remember? This is what I remember. You making a life changing decision without my input. That's what I remember. You know what? I need to get some air. Wait, No, no, no. Pop. I just need to get some air. Pop, come on, Pop. Pop. Come on. Pop. Come on. Come on. Wow. Are you happy now? Not even a simple Sunday dinner. Hey, look, calm down. <laughs> calm down. Okay? This is crazy. She is so ungrateful. You have your whole entire family right here. All your mother said was, let us say grace. And you mean to tell me you couldn't put yourself to the side for just a few minutes to, I don't know. Emily, Emily. Say grace? Calm down, okay, calm down. I don't wanna hear it. Emily, Th please. No, 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 hold on, wait. Why is she even talking anyway? This is a family issue. Exactly. She is family. <laughs> Barely, please. You wanna marry that girl, be for real. Wow, really? Oops. You Excuse really gonna go there? Me? Wait, no, nah, wait a minute. What is she no, talking about? Wait, what is she talking about? about? You don't want to marry me. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Everyone just shut up. Shut up. This whole thing started by saying, let us say grace. Now, I haven't been a part of this family long. And Miss Helen, I deeply apologize because I don't mean to come off all disrespectful. But all of you have a lot to be grateful for. Wilhelmina, you're upset that your mom just not telling you how hard it was to get you here? At least she was able to give you that chance. Listen, is everything okay? We, um, excuse me. Uh, excuse me. We, um, <clears throat> We, um, we were pregnant. And there's a good chance we might not get pregnant again. Oh, Hudson. I'm so sorry to hear that. Well, I, I guess that means that uh, that fancy degree in big house can't take care of everything, can it? <laughs> Bro, what the hell is your problem? You know what? <laughs> I ain't finna deal with this with you, Junior. Look, I ain't afraid of you. Ain't nothing stopping you but air and opportunity. There's the air. Now where's the opportunity? Mm -hmm. Man, we dive over this table on your soft oh, ass. I'm trying to be hard. What you want? Oh, yeah. Told you, I, I ain't afraid of you, Junior. I ain't afraid of you, Junior. I ain't afraid of you. I'm a grown ass man, Junior. I ain't afraid of you, man. You know what? I think now would be a good time for everyone to just go and gather themselves oh, together. Oh, yeah, there it is. Come on, Mr. Perfect. Go ahead. Don't give us that good old sound shut, advice. Just shut up, okay? Dang! I'm just saying. A lot's been said at this dinner table, and not much food has been eaten. Mama, I'm sorry to let this food go to waste. I just think it's for everyone's best interest if we just go and gather ourselves together. Is that so hard? Thank you. Amen. That's not a bad idea.
You know, if I could really be honest, if I could talk to those doctors today, I'd tell them to save me instead of you. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Okay. Yep, I I'll see you in a little bit. Yeah, I'll be right over. I'm coming. Okay. All right.